the four human ancient weapons. One Piece Theory, this video will contain massive spoilers, so if you are not yet caught up, I hope you do so. You have been warned, the One Piece, an elusive treasure, which was left behind by Goldie Roger and the Roger Pirates, on a mysterious island called Laugh Tale. In order to find this treasure, one has to decipher the information written on the Poneglyphs. We know of three types of Poneglyphs. Road Poneglyphs which detail information, and the combined information of these four Poneglyphs detail the location of Laugh Tale, historical Poneglyphs, that reveal pieces of ancient history, as well as messages written by ancient people, and the instructional Poneglyphs that contain instructions, and or clues about the location of the historical Poneglyphs. In this theory, we will concern ourselves with the historical Poneglyphs, since they do give information about the ancient weapons, and yes, I do believe there are four ancient weapons not three. I believe with the parallels and foreshadows displayed in this theory, you guys would definitely begin to see this as a possibility at the end of this video. We have been revealed to information regarding the first three ancient weapons. Poseidon who is incarnated in the form of a mermaid princess and is currently Shira Hushi. This weapon enables the user to be able to command the sea kings, and some of these are massive, most notably the king of the sea, which we will talk about in a separate video. Pluton, a massive warship which was introduced in the Alibus 2 arc, and Water 7 arc as well. We do not know much about it other than the fact that, Crocodile was insistent on this weapon to be located somewhere in Alabaster, and that Frankie burned the blueprints of this warship. Then we have Uranus, which we know nothing about. Many speculate it might have the ability to control the weather, whereas others speculate that it might be the national treasure of Mara Joys. Finally we have the fourth ancient weapon which I named Gaia. In order to understand my rationale, we would have to turn our eyes towards Enel's space adventure. And in this mini-adventure, Enel discovered the ruins of an ancient city called Burka. An ancient civilization which bore the same name as his hometown which he destroyed after obtaining the powers of the lightning devil fruit. The most important part of this space adventure has to do with the paintings on the wall. They detail the abandonment of the lunar city Burka by the Burkans for some reason, and their descent to the blue planet. The appearances of the individuals were very distinct, each having an attire, which reveals in my humble opinion the ancient weapon they represent. The first had a hat which had the appearance of a fish, this could be parallel to Poseidon, as we all know Poseidon is a human weapon. The other had distinct dressings, which looked Egyptian. This would be tying him down to Alabaster, as this kingdom was based after Egypt. So we could say this person represents the ancient weapon Pluton. Last but not the least, the third person has an appearance that I could not make out, so we would assume this person to be Uranus. Where is Gaia then? Look closely. On the bottom left corner, you should see another individual which Oda hid. His appearance is not shown. But Oda did make sure we knew it's not a Spacey, since his hat does not look like that of a Spacey, or any of the other individuals. This I think is the link that leads us to this ancient weapon. As you can tell by now, I am assuming that all the four ancient weapons are human weapons. Since we already have the powers of the first two ancient weapons, Uranus and Pluton described in the story, in an attempt to find out Gaia and Uranus' power, we had to turn to the city located in the blue planet that bore the same name as the lunar city. Because of the inexistence of this city, which was destroyed by Enel, we had to turn to the Birkins to try and find out about Uranus' power and the Burkan I investigated was the oldest of them all. Hades. He was born on Burkan 97 years ago. That was far before Enel destroyed the city. At age 15, he became immersed in the study of weather science. Why weather science? Because I believe the city must have had ties to Uranus in one way or another. So subjectively, I assumed Uranus to be a weapon, capable of weather control to an extent. Who then is Uranus? We will get to that later in the video. Now to Gaia. 
in an attempt to investigate Gaia's power, we still had to look at the Sky Islands but this time take note of the parallels, between Jaya and Wanokuni. Jaya was referred to as the City of Gold, whereas Wano, in recent times was revealed to be called the Golden Nation. Wano also had ties to the Ancient Kingdom, as their ancestors constructed the Poneglyphs. Two things had me baffled about Wano. Zunshu, and the voice of all things. This ability was notably demonstrated by Roger, Luffy, Adan and Momonosuke. Despite all these characters expressing this ability, Momonosuke was notably the one capable of ordering Zunshu, which is one of the oldest creatures known to date. Zunshu is at least a millennia old, so of course he must have had watched the events of the Void Century unfold. Zun Shaw was was stated to have committed a crime which is unknown but it could tie to the events of the Void Century. With that in mind, I believe the ability to command Zun Shaw was an ability passed down to the heirs of the Kozuki clan who are none other than Gaia. I believe Momo will not only be able to express this ability on Zun Shaw, but also on all the massive beasts, like dinosaurs, and we must not forget the creatures in the Florian Triangle. If we assume Momo is Gaia, we notice the voice of all things enabled Momo not only to communicate but also order Zinsho, this part of the ability is similar to Shirahashi's ability as well since they both order these animals, back then to Uranus. There is a character who expressed a strange ability which I believe could tie her down to be the ancient weapon Uranus itself. That character is none other than Aiza. She had observation haki that enabled her to sense the feelings of others as well as when people die. Who else had this ability? Princess Ottoheim, who interestingly is the mother of Poseidon. So I believe Aiza is the ancient weapon Uranus, and proof of this will be given to us once the Strauts use the summit of the High Westerns discover the Poneglyphs located in this track, then Pluton, whom I believe is Vivi. What explains Imu's hatred towards Vivi? He was shown to have torn a picture of Vivi. I believe it isn't only because the Nefertaris decided to stay in Alibus 2 and not stay on Marie Joys, but also because Imu knows that Vivi is the key to unlock Pluton. That is why I believe she must have been targeted at a reverie. In Pluton's case, I believe she is the key and not the ship itself. If you still have any doubts, note that the number 4 is consistently used by Oda in the world of One Piece. 4 seas, 4 emperors, 4 admirals if you consider the fleet admiral to be an admiral, 4 ancient weapons, 4 old poneglyphs and more, just to name a few. As unrelated extras, note that Dr. Tsukumi's ability to create automata's strikingly similar to spaces had me believe Dr. Tsukumi must have had ties or gotten knowledge on the ancient kingdom at some point. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more related videos, hit the notification bell to get notified when I release future content, like the video and share it as well. I'm your host Sean, and I'll catch you guys later.